Hey, my uh, next guest joining us in our studio today live is Sal with Sal V Sports Photos. Is that kind of, well, what's your exact name? It's uh, Aramis Sports Photography. Aramis, Aramis Sports Photography. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for coming in, brother. I appreciate it. Good to meet you. Appreciate the time and the uh, invitation. Yeah, so yeah. tell us your story. Start from the beginning. Well, um, photography has been a, a, a passion of mine since um, a little bit after high school. I've always enjoyed it. Didn't have the money to buy the equipment, but I really enjoyed it. Um, really started getting into it when I was in the military, my first two years in the military and then um started taking photographs while i was in uh um iraq wow I, so i took some photos there and when i came home i bought my first digital camera uh on base and took some you know family and just you know random military pictures and um stopped for a while um when i uh ended up getting out of the military and um got into working for the Department of Justice. I kept photographing, and as my uh, children grew, I, I photographed them playing sports. Um, and the name Aramis Photography came from my youngest daughter. Um, she played for Demetrius Porter uh, for the Heat team and just took on the, the photographer's uh, hat and, and started photographing all sports. And from there on, it just took off. Um, but that's what started it, and uh, bought my first uh, a few cameras uh, once I uh, retired from the Department of Justice and went full-time, and that's uh, where I went. We're looking at some of the pictures next to you. Um, kind of walk us through these. Where's this? Uh, this was last week at Memorial, their first scrimmage of the year. Um, we were just happy to be back on the field. Um, you know, due to the pandemic, we weren't able to really have a season last year. We got a partial season, but uh, this year it seems like it's on its way. And this is the first images, the uh, new beginnings uh, of this year. Um, so I ended up bringing those uh, to show them to you guys. Uh, we're in uh, full effect. This is the old, a uh, couple years back, Jalen Green, before he went to the Houston Rockets. Yeah. Um, playing for Memorial. He was one of the young men that played there. And I was able to capture him a whole lot. Um, I do his uh, portraits and uh, some of his other photos that are, that are out there. You know, um, I used to, to shoot uh, Friday night football um, when I was, you know, in my, in my younger days. Yes. Uh, and sports photography, whether it's video or, or stills, it's tough. It, 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 it takes a special person to do this. Yes. Um, a lot of times you have to kind of see it in, in, in got to see it before it's happening, you know. And me being a, a football player back in the day, so played all the way through high school and, and college, um, I'm able to be able to, you know, maneuver my way around to see what, what action shots I really want. Same thing with basketball. It, it's, it's tough because it's so fast. So you have to have the right equipment. You have to have, you know, you can't just go out there and think you're going to, be able to shoot something with a slow shutter or, yeah. or aperture and the lights have a lot to do with it mm -hmm. the way it's set up and this is a cool you know. shot here yeah that was a shot taken of me uh by one of my other buddies wow. um uh, with my new my new lens and my new camera i switched over from sony to fuji and a lot How's of people, that been? you know well i love it uh yeah. fuji is uh, a system that i had before and really love but they they've improved it and you know, before that, I shot with a Sony, and I had the A9, which is a special camera for sports. Mm -hmm. And at first, I thought I was going to miss it, but I'm, I'm getting the, the hang of it. You know, being a photographer for a while now, so I got to... You, you learn your equipment, right. you get used to it, and yeah. you learn how to shoot with it. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's all about learning. Um, so as of right now, today, uh, you are available for work, right? If somebody's watching uh, today or, or on a replay, they can connect with you? Yes. Okay. Yes. I actually just came back from uh, um, Las Vegas uh, a month ago uh, where I shot the Nationals, the Native American Nationals basketball. Oh, and it's, wow. it, it is the largest um, um, Native American um, tournament, uh, championships 
where it's nothing but uh, Native American teams. That's cool. Uh, I never knew about this yeah. until I was I networked with some people and they caught my my attention by reaching out to uh, my uh, Instagram uh-huh. and they asked me if I would you know come out there and I told I tell you I, I truly enjoyed it. I got to see uh, six girls get full rides um, from some of the scouts over there. They they just don't like get the, the exposure. Yeah, and yeah. just by you know being out there and shooting and and putting them out there and hooking up with the right people. Right. Um, there was a good buddy of mine that I'm actually going to go shoot uh, his event this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, Jim's in the gym, and he's a, a, a recruiting um, a, you know entity, and he helps a lot of the young ladies, uh, specifically young ladies, uh, get looks and. He has put a lot of girls in the, uh, in college. Wow. Yeah. Very interesting. And you also don't just do sports. I don't. Um, about two years, three years ago, I started uh, getting asked if I would do weddings mm-hmm. and, um, you know, portrait sessions. And at first I didn't want to because it almost feels like you got you have to do a job. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, you know you, sports, you, sports you're, you, there, you're having you fun, it, you're yeah. enjoying it, and <laughs> You know, you hope you make a penny here or there, but uh, when you start doing uh, portrait sessions, that's that's some of my portrait work right okay. there. Um, it, it's it starts getting more into the lighting and you know how how to work your equipment a little bit better in studio, per se. What we're doing now, sure. and and so it's a little more work, but um, it's satisfying, and you get the joy of seeing them saying, "Oh, wow, that's me." You know, right, yeah, right, right. that's. So I, I I've been doing it um, more often than than I want, but mm-hmm. hey, it's money. It, it does. <laughs> and originally I didn't get into this for the money. I got into this because because you had a passion. I had a passion for right. it, and and yeah. I I wanted to learn more about it, and you know that's it's, it's led me to you know a lot of gigs and here and there, and I'm enjoying it. It's it's so fun. Uh, okay, people can connect with you on Instagram. What's your handle? Uh, it's uh, Aramis Sports Photography, Aramis Photography, and then my website is uh, salvelasquez.com. Very good. Uh, Salvi, thank you for joining us today. Hey, I appreciate the time. And Come back anytime. The, Any, you know, uh, if, if you do some big kind of shoot and you want to showcase your photos on the air, just hit me up. Oh, for sure I will. All right. Yes. Thank you, brother. Thank you. I'm Austin Reed. You're watching Central Valley Talk. We'll be back with another guest in just a bit in the uh, 1 o'clock hour. It's coming right up.